One more time. Copper, brass, silver. This time, the silver coin, just the silver coin, goes into my pocket, leaving an empty hand, uh, arthritic but empty. An empty box. The coin now goes from the pocket up the sleeve over the shoulder and down to the left hand. If you would take the lid from the empty box, dump the coins, and the copper and brass are back inside the box. I also use two coins, a 50 cent piece and a penny. I would like you to drop one of the coins inside the bottle. It won't go. What we do is place the 50 cent piece into the bottle, but through the bottom, if you will help. Would you hold both hands out with palms up? Excellent. I want you to hold very carefully, tightly. Put your other hand underneath. I need your bottom exposed. Hang on tightly. 50 cent piece, pretty heavy piece of metal. Goes once. Inside the bottle. That's the 50 cent piece inside the bottle. This is a special box. Inside a length of ribbon. This box has a slot on the top and it has a slit in the bottom. In the drawer is a hole. If we close the drawer, so all of the openings line up, then we can insert the ribbon through all of the openings, which is impossible because inside the box is a solid slab of steel. We have three cards that are blue, two eights, one three. If I turn that upside down and put it in between, it's easy to locate. It's between the two eights, but that card then will stretch till it becomes twice as long. It'll stretch widthwise and become twice as wide. Three cards, two eights, one three. Three goes in between. And it shrinks. Thank you. Now would you take one card from the deck? Place the back of the card against the palm of your hand, sign your name real large on the card. And would you show it to Mr. Porsman? Thank you. As my thumb goes down, stop me about halfway. Stop. Put your card there. Good. Now, do you remember the name of the card? Yes. And you know the name you wrote? Yes. Good. In the middle of the deck, one card with your name. Using one finger and one flick, I cause your card to turn upside down. One card upside down in the middle of the deck. Would you reach for that, please? There. No. No? No. no. It's not my fault. It's inside the box. One card. There's your card. Inside. There are two cards, so it's a little difficult to remember. Can you remember the cards?
face down. What was my card? Face down. Eight of hearts. Eight of hearts. That's very good. And yours is the? King of spades. King of spades. Would you put your ring on the back of the king of spades? You've marked yours with your ring. I'm going to mark mine, the eight of hearts, by cutting a little nick in the card. In fact, I'll cut a second nick. You can easily tell the cards face up. So I'm going to hide my card. Now you could tell your card from the back. What is your card? King of spades. And my card? Eight of hearts. Eight of hearts. Watch the cards change places so that I have the king of spades. Would you turn your card over, please? And yours is the eight, eight of, hearts. of hearts. Pins, baby pins, diaper pins. Would you pull on those pins? I want you to see they don't come apart unless one of them is opened. They don't come apart unless you open one of the pins. But being a magician, I have found a method of causing those pins to pass through each other and come apart. Two pins. Would you pull on the bars of that pin? See, there's no secret opening. Would you pull on the bars? They're just pins. May I have them, please? Pins. Mm -hmm. This kind of an optical illusion because they're so shiny. One goes inside the other and they're not linked, but if it passes through the top bar onto the bottom bar, then the pins are again linked, and you can look at the pins. And they're just two pins. Would you pull on that nut? It doesn't slide off. Some people say there are probably no threads in there, and it slides off au contraire. Would you cover the nut and bolt with the cup? Good. You did very well last time. Would you remember the magic words? Bippity bappity boo. Wave your hand over, say the magic words. Bippity bappity boo. Lift up the cup. The nut is off the bolt. It's a miracle.